friends a uh, few days back uh, i did a webinar uh, along with uh, tia tamil nadu investor association and this was a sebi sponsored webinar and the topic which i covered was uh, passive investing index investing and the idea was to introduce the concept of passive investing or index investing and look through it understand it because in india we don't have a very long history of passive investment however there is a lot to learn from you know the developed nations uh, so it was a, a one and half hour webinar and actually the content is very detailed there is a lot to be discussed also i got lot of queries and you know some of the answers maybe i also didn't know so i thought it would be interesting to you know cover this topic in detail so what i'm going to do is in next few uh, weeks or months i will run a series of videos on uh, you know the topic called passive investing uh, which includes your index funds your etfs and all and uh, i hope that will help to you know gain more knowledge uh, in terms of passive investing and uh, we will uh, cover more as we go further so uh let's start with this video where uh, we will go through the basic introduction of uh, what is this whole passive investing is all about so welcome to the topic all about passive funds the good bad and ugly ugly and we will cover uh, uh, passive funds in detail to understand their pros and cons and everything and before we start so please note that uh, uh, there is a lot of data which will be presenting uh, you know during uh, this series of videos and uh, the data has been taken partly from commercial sources from open sources also uh, however some of the data could be wrong though we try to ensure the accuracy of the data uh, but we are not accountable for uh, any data errors uh in the process we may discuss certain stocks and any of these discussion and this whole discussion this is only for educational purpose and uh, uh this is nothing is a recommendation so please do your own due diligence uh third i am not a registered investment advisor and the videos are only for educational purposes for any investment decision please contact your financial advisor and uh, one more thing we have seen that uh, very easily uh, many of us we conclude uh, i think conclusion is something which should not be such an easy exercise so please take each of these points as a way uh, you know points to think over rather than concluding quickly because conclusion needs lot of evidence and uh, because we are discussing about passive funds index funds we will be discussing about large cap funds mid cap funds where they are uh, their returns so all of this is more a uh, normal discussion and we may say uh, something on the current state of market which might be a bullish or bearish uh, which might sound uh, but this is not a bullish or bearish advice so uh, and also whatever we are presenting this is uh, one way of looking at uh, investment uh, passive investment is one style active investment is other style and we are not averse to any style this is just one of the ways and uh, we thought to educate ourselves as well as share the knowledge so what we will cover is we will cover the uh, uh, topics related to passive funds index investing uh, global evidences of index investing what to learn from uh, some of the older economies older markets uh, index investing versus mutual fund investing uh certain principles of invest index investing and certain insights on index investing and when i say index investing we will see it uh, it is more resembled uh, to the passive investing style so i'm using it interchangeably however there could be little bit of difference and we will discuss and uh, then we will discuss the summary and conclusion uh, the question section you see it is because this is the deck i have used for the webinar uh, but if you have any questions you can post on the, the youtube channel and i will try my best to answer the queries so first thing is what is passive uh, investing and active investing and what are passive funds and active funds so uh, the key difference between a passive fund and active fund it gets derived from the name itself when we say passive it means there is not much of action and if there is not much of action then how the money is being managed that is the question 
but that is how the passive funds work in a passive fund the money is managed passively there is not much of activity or churn so how does it gets managed is this works on based certain set of rules uh, which don't churn your portfolio on a frequent basis so like index replication is one such rule so what is done is whatever is there at the index in whatever weightage a fund is created which just mimics the index and the index doesn't change is uh, doesn't change every day uh, index changes at much lesser frequency and then what passive funds they do every 6 months they will look at their difference versus index difference and again they will mimic it 100% which means in a given year you will not have more than two instances of churn so this is the way how a passive fund works now why passive fund so the reason is if you look at the index return itself index itself has generated a very decent return i mean if we look for a longer horizon uh, above 7 year in terms of any you know rolling time frame we will see the index itself has generated uh, you know a much better returns than a fd or an inflation which means without effort also money generation possibilities are there and that is where the role of passive fund comes whether active funds beat passive fund returns or not we will see all that later on but the thing is it doesn't require lot of human brilliance all we are doing is we are mimicking uh, a index or similar kind of rule where we don't need to the fund manager he doesn't need to think a lot and with very less uh, interference very less uh, active uh, engagement he can run these kind of funds and the typical example of passive investing or passive fund is uh index funds or index etf funds and all and we will see uh, all of that more in detail and because they are not actively managed there is not lot of human engagement not lot of manpower required uh there is less activity less brokerage less taxes so the overall charges which you see on passive fund is relatively very less and uh even though it looks low on uh, 1% difference might look low but when on crores of portfolios when you compound with a 1% difference over 10 20 30 years you can understand the quantum of difference and in case you are not aware maybe someday i will make a video on compounding but i want to highlight that the difference is huge even with that 1% gap if the quantum is high and if the time horizon is high now compared to passive funds if we look at active funds in active fund the fund is managed actively by a fund manager and his team uh, which means that they are looking at what is their portfolio they continuously churn their portfolio they will buy some new stock they will sell some uh, existing stock they will reduce some position they will increase some position so there is a lot of activity and there is a lot of effort there is a lot of human intervention there is a lot of human intelligence and brilliance required if they need to outperform uh, even the index funds and hence relatively there is much more activity there is much more churn uh, how the portfolio is created it slowly depends on the fund manager and the teams their investment style somebody might follow a growth investing style somebody might follow a, a value investing style somebody might follow a quantitative investing style but the common alike commonality in all those investing style is there is activity there is a you know regular involvement there is a regular churn and all of this happening and hence uh, the human brilliance is required to outperform and the typical regular mutual funds which we see uh, they are the one who are uh, you know come who come in the active fund category and if you look and compare charges the charges of active fund will be much more higher like uh, i can say it will be like you know 3 to 7 8 times higher than passive funds they will charge somewhere around 1 1.5% 1, uh, on kind of upper cap the regulator has put on and just to give you a feel of uh, you know the portfolio churn i have just taken certain data just to highlight this data has been taken from one of uh, mint articles from september 2020 just to highlight portfolio turnover is nothing but the churn and it says like this particular fund in one year it it almost uh, churns the portfolio 100% so if they are managing 100 crore fund they end up selling and buying 100 crore of uh, shares so the whole portfolio gets you know replaced so this is what is the passive fund and active fund all about so the question is why we are discussing this why interest in passive fund and we will go through each of these topics one by one but now uh, 
like in passive funds, what are the avenues? So as I said, index fund is one way or index exchange traded funds. So basically these are type of mutual funds where the whole portfolio is constructed to match or track the components of a financial market index, which means the fund manager is not putting his mind. All he's doing is in, he's mimicking a system which is already built. And one small difference, the difference between an index fund and its exchange traded fund is in exchange traded fund, you can buy and sell it like a stock. So let's say if it is one o'clock and the market is on, I can buy and sell the exchange traded fund at the same price at which that fund is trading. And I will be able to execute my order at that same price. Whereas a normal index fund, it will get purchased or sold at the end of the day rather than being a real time settlement. That is the key difference between exchange traded fund. The word traded is basically, it means you can trade it on exchange then and there, unlike a regular mutual fund where, you know, uh, all this happens at the end of the day in every price. And index funds, they hold all the characteristics of, uh, you know, the typical passive investing, uh, you know, philosophy. So it follows a passive investment strategy. It follows that kind of benchmark index. And, you know, there are multiple kinds of index. There could be a small cap index. There could be a nifty 50, nifty next 50, uh, you know, nifty 500 mid cap. But the idea is to pick some of those indexes and, you know, replicate that index. And, uh, this is a way to provide broad market exposure. Uh, the portfolio is not restricted to, you know, 10, 20 stock. You know, even though in active mutual fund also you get a broad market exposure because they invest and many of them, they end up investing in 50 to 70 stock. And that is, there is nothing good or bad about it, but uh, index investing, it can give you a broad market exposure because it can expose if you buy a small cap fund, uh, you might get exposed to the count of stocks which are comprising that index. Also, it seeks to match the risk and, uh, you know, return of the market. So because market is represented by index movement, so whatever returns index generates, that is the typical return market generates, and that is the kind of return these index funds will be generating. Also, because there is not much of activity, there is not much of human intervention, the operating costs are low and hence the operating expenses are lower and uh, the portfolio turnover is lower. And due to all these reasons, the fees charged by index funds, it is relatively lesser. If, if I am not wrong and I remember it's somewhere between 0.15 to 0.3%, but there are some talks going because of what is happening. And again, I will, I'm going to show you some lot of data. Uh, there is some traction which is happening towards index funds and looks like uh, some cannibalization of the regular fund is happening. And a asset funds companies, which are our mutual fund companies, they need to ensure their profitability. So if they will have a scope to increase the pricing for index fund, they may increase. Again, it depends on a lot of things and most important, how the regulator is going to act. But I have seen some news where, you know, they, uh, they are exploring the avenues to increase uh, the fee because it's, uh, they feel it's too low. And we'll see all of that, how the U.S. markets have behaved in terms of, you know, all of these things. So I hope by now the concept of passive investing versus index investing is clear. Uh, the, what are index funds that is clear, you know, the features of index fund and the way it works is basically you take a respective index, you see what stocks are there, you see what weightages have been given and you create a similar portfolio, you mimic the portfolio. And then every uh, defined periodicity, like three or six months, you uh, reshuffle that portfolio just to ensure that you are mimicking it again and again. Uh, and I think a few of the questions which were asked to me is like, does it cover the dividends and all? Uh, now, what I have seen is the, most of the index fund, they will not be dividends. So if you have purchased your typical regular mutual fund, you will get a growth option, you will get a dividend option, you will get a direct option, you will get a regular option. So just for the benefit of everybody, a growth option is where the dividends get reinvested in the mutual fund. So you are not taking out the dividends, you are reinvesting the dividend and that is why it calls growth because the dividends are reinvested in the NAV of the mutual fund. In a dividend based mutual fund, whatever dividend that mutual fund portfolio is generating, you get that dividend from the mutual fund house. So this is the difference between 
growth uh, mutual fund and dividend mutual fund then you have a regular mutual fund and direct mutual fund if you are buying a mutual fund through any brokerage like let's say if you are buying a mutual fund through icici direct website uh, which is a brokerage firm so they also charge certain amount of money which is their brokerage charges and hence you when you will see the fees of these mutual funds which you are buying in a regular plan that will be higher than the direct because when you pick a direct plan you are buying directly from the asset management company the amc so there is no intermediate intermediary so if you go to a amc website and you pick direct option there and you buy it there then you can save these few points of uh, you know fees in between and again on a very big portfolio in a multi year 20 year scenario all this matters a lot even this 0.5% matters a lot but you know for convenience because if you have to go to every amc you can you know nowadays in fact there are apps where you can you know buy direct through one single app and you know all this has been uh, made easier uh, but uh, this is the difference between direct mutual fund and the regular mutual fund so now coming to uh, this what we have seen is most of the index fund they have growth option they won't have a direct option and one reason could be because they don't want lot of activity and if you have to you know pay people dividends regularly there is activity so it's against the inherent philosophy so nothing stops but the way it is you know happening is mostly it is going to be more growth opportunity growth based fund you won't see direct you know dividend based option now why we are discussing so much about uh, passive investing and index funds and i want to quote several quote several examples of what mr bowen buffett has said uh, the first one left from the top he says a low cost index fund is the most sensible equity investment for majority of investors and my mentor ben graham took his, uh, this position many years ago and everything i see since convinced me and the reason is even if you look active fund data it's very very difficult to beat the index because index itself in itself is a self correcting mechanism where companies who do well on certain parameters they get included who don't do well they get excluded and you would have seen this data that you know the index composition of 50 years back versus 40 years back versus 30 years back is very very different and for a investor to understand what is going to be out what is going to be in it needs a lot of effort lot of activity lot of human intelligence and that is where you know these kind of funds come and that 1 or 2% brokerage cost and all of that that also matters so warren buffett has been a kind of you know uh, uh, very much uh, in favor of passive investing and index funds uh, for majority of people and if you see the second one again by periodically investing in index fund the no nothing investor can actually outperform most investment professionals and we will see all of this through the data whether the data says this or not so if mr warren buffett is shouting something for last 20 years and uh, you know uh, it makes sense to go and explore where you know at least explore whether you know it makes sense or not and uh, in fact he also says both large and small uh, investors should stick to low cost index funds so if he is saying it repeatedly that means there is something special and hence it might be worth exploring this topic and that is why we are exploring this topic so i will see you in the next video where we will cover this in much, much more detail and there will be a series of videos coming because i want to discuss this topic in detail because i feel uh, this is very educational and this is very informative for people who are in jobs who don't have time for you know selecting stock on their own uh they don't want to give their money to somebody else to manage because of trust issues or whatever uh, i think this is a very very educate uh, educational and informative topic and i will post more videos on this topic do let me know if you if you see there is something which you want to know which has not been covered in our agenda and you want to cover then we will do that and don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, also as a part of scientific investing Uh, we run several training programs in fundamental investing in technical analysis in quants analysis uh, coding algorithms and all uh, our uh, the description below our youtube channel it will have a lot of details you will have some pdf files with all the details so do check that and if you are interested do let us know i will see you again thanks for your time